Let's see the breakfast and plus TV Africa. We take a look at the second conversation. And well, yesterday, some part of Lagos was overtaken by uh, flash floods following the downpour that lasted four hours. The downpour started on Sunday evening and continued all through the night into Monday morning, uh, that's September the 12th. As expected, some parts of, Lake of the state uh, were flooded, making transportation difficult for residents of the state. Now, frustrated citizens posted photos and videos on social media showing roads overtaken by floods. Such roads include the Marina Road on Lagos Island, uh, the Penn Cinema area of Agigi, and uh, the Aburu Yano Paja streets of Dolphin Estate and the High Borough of Ikoyi area, amongst others. Uh, in Maryland, that's a Maryland area of the state, the situation almost turned uh, very sad as nine persons, mostly ladies, were trapped when a building started sinking there. Also in the state, two persons were not as lucky as the Mende nine. Uh, they were swept away by the floods in Alimosho local government area. We have a guest joining us this morning, engineer Adebola Rashid Shribe. It's good to have you join us this morning. He's an environmental uh, consultant in Lagos. Good morning, man. All right, then. What are your thoughts, uh, you know, with the uh, flood, flash flood yesterday? And this is actually not the first time. It feels like every other time it rains in Lagos, that's the case. What really is, you know, the cause of this and what can be the solution? Yeah, the real issue on this is indiscipline on part of the residents of Lagos. Because um, the state government is doing its own bid to, um, or has done its own bid by constructing drainage channels, also providing um, um, canals where the, um, the water will be channeled, um, will be discharged into the lagoon. But when I say the indiscipline of the part of our people, Number one, people, when any time it rains, they bring out their waste from their houses and dump in the drainage channels, unknowingly to them that it's going to block in the front and there will be no passage of the water. So the water will definitely come back to them. Number two, on the issue of the food vendors using um, 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 disposable plates, they, after their customers finished 18, they will drop all this in the drainage channels. These are the causes. This is part of indiscipline on our people. And totally on the issue of the plastic bottles. Averagely, we consume over 7 million of bottled water in Lagos on a daily basis. Virtually about 4 million of those bottles end up in the drainage channels. So what do you want the government to do? The government has been doing its best to sensitize the people. I worked on, uh, under the Ministry of Environment for nine years, and I can seriously tell you here, the Ministry of Environment is doing the best they can do. You understand what I'm saying now? Oh. So, when you talk about the government, the government is you and I. Why don't we complement what the Ministry of Environment is doing? But uh... We're not doing that. All right, so, so you, you're saying the Ministry of Environment is doing the best that it can do. Mercy has asked the I'm question. I'm telling you this. To, I worked uh, under so, the so, Ministry of Environment so, for nine years. Well, yeah, so can you please tell us, um, and we're not here to attack you. We're here to, to get no, your no, expert you opinion. Here. I so, will strongly tell you what is... Yes, I'm, so, 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 so what, what is the Ministry of Environment in Lagos State uh, uh, doing? Yes, the Ministry of Environment, you know, we have the environmental services and we have the drainage services. The, um, the environmental services is saddled with the responsibility of um, uh, 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 bringing out policies and regulations on the environment, while the agencies under the Ministry of Environment, like La Sepa, Loma, um, Wastewater, um, uh, Water Regulatory, Last Park, implement all the policies and regulations. While the, um, the, the hold on a second, while the drainage services, their job is to ensure that we have good drainages and canals in Lagos. When I talk about canals, canals are receptors of where the uh, drainages 
discharge all their water and to, and before discharging into the lagoon. So they are doing go everywhere in Lagos. So, 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 so you, okay. So interesting. You've talked about the drainage services, which I think um, maybe yes. is a key uh, department as far as this is concerned under the yes. Lagos State Ministry of Works. What exactly has Ministry a drain of environment. Environment. Ministry of environment? All right. What, what has, which is quite strange, because I mean, drainage services may, may be under, should, I think should be under the Ministry of Works, but hey, what do I know? What, no, what, ha under the, that, I was, okay, okay. what has the drainage services department, what have they done to uh, make sure that as the rain started, the flooding was reduced? Yes, that, that's a very nice question. Before any rainy season starts, there must be a proactive measures put in place to ensure that all our drainages are being cleaned, all the canals are being cleared, which I am telling you is what the drainage services department has been doing from the onset. And um, um, look at um, this issue of um, what you're saying, the flooding, the flooding. When they already clear all these drainages, the, the next minute, you see people bringing out their waste. When lawman Sado with the responsibility of cutting away the waste has been doing his job, people will still bring out their waste and dump in the drainage channels. You understand what I'm saying? And these people have been arrested on a daily basis. But I will strongly tell you this. You see, Lagos is, Lagos is where people come on a daily basis, right? And the attitude of indiscipline of people from other parts of the country coming into Lagos on a daily basis, they are used to this attitude of dumping their waste and the public drains when it rains. So they bring that attitude from where they are coming from, and they still continue doing it in Lagos. This is where the problem is. Secondly, look at people building houses. This indiscipline on the part of builders. Well, they um, put their sand. Yes, yes, I'm with you. No, go ahead. Go they ahead. Use the, yeah, they use their sand, granite to block public drainage tunnels. Where do you want the water to pass? The ministry has done its bit to clear the, the, the drainage channels. The, the primary, the secondary, and the tertiary drainages. That's the responsibility of the Ministry of Environment. And the canals, they, they are doing this before any rain starts. Any rainy season starts in this state. They will definitely have the measures and plans or action plan to ensure all these things have been done before any rainy season. They are doing that. I'm telling you because I have been part of them for nine to ten years. Okay. You but, understand what I'm saying now? Well, I'm following your, uh, your uh, thought pattern right here. I, I think that your thoughts uh, might just also align with the special advisor, so the governor of Babajide, Songwolu, on drainage Joy and Bokwe, water right? resources, Joy Joy Bokwe. Bokwe. Yes, uh, yes. Who, who said that efforts were, uh, you know, on, on to better protect the city, and also that uh, the reason for the flash flood is because Lagos is a coastal city, and so is actually expected. And you have said that the people have not been responsible. You have talked about yeah, having buildings. Uh, you, you, you have talked about buildings being erected, you know, on water channels and what have you. But I'd like to ask you. I mean, if we say that, you know, there's government and governance is the responsibility of government to ensure that lives and properties are protected, um, before a building is being erected, who gives, uh, you know, the permit? Who gives, you know, an approval for a structure? Is it that I as a person or as a citizen or a resident of Lagos can wake up and erect a building anywhere without the approval of government which you have, of course, in this sense, you're talking about government agency. I mean, don't we think that this is an irony? So if we have structures already on water channels, blocking water channels, and people acting indiscriminately, don't we also have government on the other side to enforce that these laws are actually respected? Okay, thank you. You know, I started by saying indiscipline, all right? The state and the Minister of um, Fiscal Planning gives approval, all right? You have an approval to build three bedroom, four flats, right? And they give you the approval. When you get to the site now, you now start building six to eight flats. Then, last part comes in. 
Lagos State Fiscal Planning um, Approval Permit Area, and LAPCA, Lagos State Building Control Agencies, they come in here, right? At the end of the day, when they start demolishing all this, the public is now saying, oh, the state government is doing this. The state government, the state government on this part will do its, its best. The state government is doing its best to ensure we have a better city. Okay, uh, engineer, engineer, um, interesting yes. words. And I want to thank you so much for really giving us as a, a consultant, uh, uh, you know, though you know government spokes, so you've done so well to tell us indeed what legal state government is doing. Uh, and I do agree with you how, talking from experience, you know, the negative impact that, um, you know, building on waterways and, uh, you know, the rights of, uh, on canals and places where you shouldn't build uh, can have. Uh, but uh, in, a, in a place like Marina, Lagos, you know, yesterday Marina was really flooded. Um, I do not know if there's any, you know, wrong building on Marina. It's been there for years before now. Uh, that's one. Second, secondly, if indeed the government of Lagos State has embarked on what you call uh, a desilting, you know, uh, uh, you know, clearing of drainages, would it take one month, two months, three months for everything to be blocked immediately for everywhere to be flooded? I mean, what's going on um, may be said to be, uh, or would the government say, well, we've cleaned it all, so if you, you throw anything inside, we, we can't do anything about it anymore. I mean, back in the days, we had a public works department, we had a water department, uh, where you had pipe bone water in Lagos State, which people could use to, you know, if the government used it to flush the drainages, there's no pipe bone water in Lagos State, as it were. Um, so I, are you telling me that what we're seeing in, in the parts of Lagos, like Marina, like Lekki, where people are building, in a more organized setting, um, that, that, that all this is down to people building wrongly? It could be argued that, um, that it, it could be argued that the Lagos State government has failed to, to develop the city um, as the city has expanded. You're talking about people coming from outside Lagos State. This is Nigeria. People can move wherever they want to move. Um, should we consider a narrative of people are coming to spoil Lagos? Um, I'm sure Lagosians are also going uh, out to other places as well. The responsibility of the government is to use the taxes that any, every Nigerian who stays in, in, in Lagos State pays. We have donkey taxes that people pay in Lagos State. The state government has not expanded. Look at Lekki Phase 1, for instance. What infrastructure has the Lagos State government put in Lekki Phase 1, you know, to develop Lekki Phase okay, 1? Let me, I, okay, I mean, let it's, me it's one agree. road, one road from, from uh, 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 Morocco, all right, all the way to, to, to uh, Aja, all the way to Awoyaya, to all those places out of, it's one road. What infrastructure has Lagos State government put in place to, to expand the city to meet with its expanding population. So don't tell me that people are coming to Lagos State. They are paying taxes. The state is expanding with all respect to engineer, and the government has not developed okay. the state to okay. meet up let me this just, expansion. Let me just correct this. Let me correct this. Lagos State government has not failed it. I would say that. Because all over the 36 states in Nigeria, go around the 36 states, you will say that Lagos State government has left not failed it, number one. Number two, let me take example. Look at um, the population of Lagos. Lagos is the most populous in Nigeria, with over 24 million people in Lagos, with the increment of 90% population growth every year. You understand what I'm saying now? Three, you are talking of Marina, for example, now, where Marina is flooded. Look how many people fly marina on daily basis. Look so at so it, what, um, has the, what has the state government done to, to in, improve things, looking at the, the, uh, the, the, the explosion, population explosion in Lagos State by people like who are coming in who are paying taxes? Expanding. Look, look at what's expired access now. What, the, yeah. the Lagos State, no, no, hold on a second. I lived in the U.S. for many years, and I will tell you the way the U.S. government does its things. They, with, the way Lagos State is doing is the way the U.S. government is doing, expanding. Look at, go did, did the Lagos State, state has, has the Lagos State, okay, so let's look at, we're in Victoria Island, I yes. can go to Lekki, yes. for instance. Has Lagos State government cleared yes. drainages um, in the last, you know, three, four, five months? I can prove to you that yes. they haven't. So you come down to Plus TV Africa, let's take, a walk, let's, take a, let's take a walk on all the roads here, all right? And I will show yes. you drainages that are even covered by sand. You can't even trace the gutter anymore, sir. The government has not cleared the drainages. 
They have not. I can take you to Lekki Phase 1. You know what I'm talking about, engineer. You no, have, I, you have I, daughters I that have been there for mind. three, four, five. Mind. Government has not, never come one that. day to clear those gutters. And these people pay taxes. Humongous no, taxes. No, 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 no. No. Ministry of Environment, the training department. I'm, 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 I told you I worked with the Ministry of Environment for nine years. And I'm telling you strongly here. That those that nine years and up to today, there is always a program and action plan that all the drainages and the channels and the canals in the state Papa, you're must be. About, you're talking about before. nine years ago. I mean, no, what? No, it's not nine years ago. Not nine years. I worked there for nine years. And, and we are telling okay. you that the nine current years. reality is that if you move across the city, I mean, if you move in different parts, you would see that the I drainages are still... I move across the city myself. I move across the The drainages are very clogged. So what could be responsible then for the, uh, you know, yes, the flood that we're experiencing? It's because of the indiscipline on a part of our people. So we're saying one and enough. the same thing. We're saying one and the same thing that the drainages have not been cleared. And no, there should be it, some enforcement. It, there should be some enforcement. They are being cleared. I am telling you. I am telling you this. Lagos State Government clears even... The local governments to do the same in the state. They clear the drainages. I was once a local government chairman too, right? We always do this. Well, well uh, if, we, if, we, if we, not be part of our people. I, I do know that sometimes I must confess that I've seen on some streets that are being cleared, the ones that they'll clear and leave, no, the, and leave, and leave the sand. Sorry, sorry, yeah. sir. Engineer, yeah. engineer Rashid, sorry. And the ones who clear and leave the sand by the road for some days to rainforest and then put it back into the drain. I've seen that. So I know you do you do some work. But I'm saying that there are, oh, it, 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 it are several streets that are not being cleared. I'm being told that Plus TV Africa paid for the drains to be cleared. I want to find out from my control room, who did we pay? Who did we pay to, please? Who? To do what? Okay, so what I'm told by, by, by our people is that they saw people clearing the drainages and they asked the company that they should pay them money to clear. We don't know if these are government people. Uh, we paid about 8,000 naira or so for them to clear. For them, to clear the, for them to clear the... Oh, okay, so we paid 67,000 naira for them to clear the drainage in front of our, our office. How many what months ago was that even? I mean, to contractors. I mean, yeah, to, to people, people to just to, people just to clear yeah, to clear to, because you know, it's. I mean, we're talking seven thousand naira. This and is this is actually we need to go now. Yes, we have to go. We are being prompted to go. No, but no, I mean, to be very no, honest, no, engineer. But I, I think I think engineer, would, would you be happy if we took a tour? I will send a reporter around the streets of um, no, VI. Invite me. Invite me, yes. and we come and take a tour with you. Fantastic. Now, let me make a clarification here. Yeah. Let me make a clarification here. It is your responsibility. To clear the frontage of your office, it is your responsibility to clear the frontage of your house. It happens over there, US too. You understand? If your frontage is dirty, this well, is engineer Adebola Rashid, uh, yes. we have to go. Uh, thank you so much. Thank you. We'll have you back, sir. We'll have you thank back. You Definitely. No, okay. call me. I will take a talk with you. All right. I will take thank, a you, with you. thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you so much. Mercy. Um, no, this, no, so, so I mean, we have, we, to, have we have to let it go here because for once I have actually been on the streets of Lagos and, you know, reporting about uh, the drainage and the fact that it's been clogged, you know, from different paths for the mainland, you know, to the island. And I can tell you exactly what, you know, the situation is. Right. As much as we say it's the responsibility of the citizen, but we also have the government on the other hand to ensure that these laws are being enforced. And that's why government exists in different quarters. We can't constantly make all of these excuses and expect a miracle. If we say it's a global phenomenon, really, I think it's man-made and government has failed. That's the much we can take at this point in time. I am Messi Bopo. If you missed out on any part of it, it would be okay to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and do subscribe to YouTube channel. That's at Plus TV Africa and Plus TV Africa Lifestyle. All right, my name is Kofi Patels. Good morning.